How's it going everyone? So today's video is all about my uh, Stone Roses uh, singles collection on 12 inch vinyl. So um, I've got quite a few to show you. So we'll crack on with this one and see how it goes. Okay, the first one I have to show you is Garage Flowers. And this is basically a collection of their demos that first came out in 1986 and then this one was released in 1996 and this has a couple of good ones uh, I want to be adored first I take this is the one tell me and mission impossible and this comes with the John Squire art print. And that has a sort of a, a glossy finish. And this is the scene. A and B. This one's pretty hard to get. I was lucky enough to get this in a record shop here in Dublin, which is now gone. And yeah, no name for the John Squire print. And what you're listening to in the background is actually this album here, Garage Flowers. Then we move on to their second album, the more rockier one. The Second Coming, which was on Geffen Records, and again, this has been repressed on Simple Vinyl, Simply Vinyl label, and um, reissued again under Sony and Silverstone later. So these were all pretty difficult to get at one stage, but are now a lot easier. And um, yeah, but it's, it's it's good to have the the first editions. Then we have the, the brilliant self-titled debut album. And this this version actually comes in the special edition um, 12, 12 inch maxi single box set that is a big black box set, which is really, really rare and pretty expensive to get. It has Fool's Gold, Elephant Stone, I'm the Resurrection, Waterfall, all these singles packaged with this album in Gatefold. And you can see. It's pretty impressive. The, the vinyls themselves are just in the, the classic silver, silver tone labels. So this one has the distinct silver text as you can see. Um, the text isn't embossed like the uh, the original pressing back in 1989. I think this version uh, was reissued in 1991. And then I managed to get a bootleg of the, the first album. this disc. I don't know where it was manufactured. It just says uh, 1999 Special Centenary Limited Edition version. Which is, you can see there in the corner. And then one of the 1980, the 1989 pressings of the first Album and then the regular sleeve art for which I'm sure you've probably seen before.
But yeah, the, the colours look very, very strong, vivid on this. And I thought the, the, the reissue pressings, the blacks didn't look really good at all and stuff. But you're always going to have that problem with uh, reissues. The colours are never bang on, I find. Next up, we have What the World is Waiting For. Which is RT13 and features a limited edition print similar to uh, the 7 inch vinyl had a postcard. So we have like so. Which is very, very nice. And then it, it, it comes with a standard uh, silver tone label sticker. Next up we have the brilliant I Am The Resurrection. Probably one of the John Squire's greatest ever sleeves, in my opinion. And this comes with an art print. Which is very, very, very beautiful. And as we know, these were the colours taken off the self-titled debut album. Yeah, this one was um, pretty expensive. I think this goes between 30 to 50 sterling and it uh, was actually more pricey and collectible than the debut album. Uh, next up we have The Brilliant Waterfall, which has uh, One Love on the back, on the B side. Um, unfortunately no art print with this. I think these did come with art prints and are subsequently worth a lot more money if you can get them with the art print. And when I was living in America for a little while working, I managed to order a copy of Fool's Gold on Gold Vinyl, which has the, the long version 953 and what the world is ready for, 355 on the back. So this is what the label is like. And voila. Yeah, very, very nice item. And then just the standard UK version of Fool's Girls 1953 or T13 black label, so it's an original version. And, uh, similar to the US black and silver labels. Next up we have She Bangs the Drums, or T6, so I'm presuming this is a first edition because the other ones that were in coloured labels, yeah, and then it has the brilliant standing here on the B-side, so, B along with uh, Mercy Paradise. Next up we have Made of Stone, featuring Going Down and the backwards track of uh, Guernica, which is obviously uh, influenced by a sort of a reference or homage to Pablo Picasso. So there we have Stone Roses, Made of Stone, brilliant single. 
Next up we have One Love and on the B side as this is something burning which is the full version similar to Fool's Gold this, this is sort of an epic long version of 9 minutes of lots of extra drums and percussion very very nice um, no, no postcard with this like the 7 inch version Next up we have the US edition of I Wanna Be Adored. Notice the, the artwork is got a slightly thicker border, so it comes in slightly opposed to the UK version. And this has Saloni and Going Down on it. And this one comes Oh no, it doesn't. Sorry, I thought it came with an art print, but it doesn't. And the label is standard silver tone. So yeah, I got that when I was over in the US as well. And then, this is the UK version of I Want to Be Adored. Which has got a catalogue number of ORZ31. And this has a sort of a matte paper finish opposed to the gloss of the US version. Again, beautiful uh, Pollock Squire painting. And this one does have a, a, an art print which is so uh, <laughs> next up we have elephant stone which is unfortunately it's only one of the, the reissues with the, the red catalogue number that you can see there. But full Phantom 5 and the hardest thing in the world. No art print or anything extra like that. And then last but not least we have a special version of Phil's Goal that came out for the the Australian tour. And there's also a version of this for Elephant Stone that comes with a t-shirt and a 7-inch symbol of Elephant Stone. And I haven't opened it up as you can see, but it also came with a cassette of what the world is waiting for. And on the back, we have, on the cassette, sorry, we have Fool's Gold, what the world is waiting for, I want to be adored. Made of stone and she bangs the drums. So you can see it's a promo version. So yeah, no, that, that, that was pretty expensive. I, I ordered that from a specialist shop in England. But yeah, I think it's something not many Air Roses collectors have. So. And just to, to finish off this segment, I have the cassette single of She Bangs the Drums, which just has the same single tracks She Bangs the Drums, Mercy Paradise, Standing Here, and Simone. And here's the first self debut album on cassette if you haven't seen that. Comes in a standard white cassette. And uh, let's open this up. It's the and then it has the, the same images of the inserts of the back of the LP. So that's all, folks. 
for this segment. Um, on my other segments, I'm going to be recording some of my um, Ian Brown singles that I have um, signed and the, the albums as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, see you later. Cheers. Thanks. Bye bye.